This is the Curious Lock Picker on behalf of Lock Pickers United. In today's video, I'm going to pick and gut a multi-lock interactive with serrated driver pins. Multi-lock is known for its interesting telescoping pins, and this lock is no exception. In training Tuesday number one, Priest went over some of the prerequisites for picking multi-locks. Specifically, he spoke about the importance of both pick placement and pick choice. We'll leave a link in the video description if you want to check that out. Let's take a close look at the lock's bidding. In slots 1, 3, 4, and 5, you'll see concentric circles that determine the bidding of the inner and outer key pins. One other interesting feature of this lock is the interactive element in slot number 2. This element interacts with a metallic protrusion in the plug and gets raised to a height that is otherwise unachievable with a typical key. Alright, let's get to picking. I used a multi-pick BMS number 8 tension tool and a multi-pick Elite G Pro number 5 pick. I'm going to try to set the outer pins first and then the inner pins. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. Small click out of three. Got a single click out of four. And two clicks out of five. Not much out of one. Now I get four clicks out of two and a little bit of core rotation. I get a few more clicks out of pin one and then even more core rotation. I lightly touch pin 3 and then drop into a deep false set. And from here, it's a matter of going through the lock and setting the inner driver pins. In general, it's fairly difficult to overset them, so you'll see that my technique becomes a bit more random and less precise. Alright, and the lock is now picked. All right, to get this cam off, I need to take the two Phillips head screws off the back. Alright, so now I'm going to insert the key into the lock and turn the plug 90 degrees clockwise. I like gutting multi-locks in this way because it allows the pins to ride along the blade of the key. In general, it's a fairly safe way to gut multi-locks. In this close-up, you can see the lock's five key pin assemblies. Each assembly is, of course, made up of an inner key pin and an outer key pin. The rest of the gutting process is fairly standard, so I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and then I'll show you the contents of the lock.
Here you can see the five inner key pins, the five outer key pins, and the five driver pin assemblies. All driver pins are serrated, as promised. There's nothing too unusual about the plug. And let's get one final zoom in of the key. Thank you guys very much for watching. We really do appreciate it.